hello friends <laughs> and welcome again and this is my new project online gift store and i have developed this project in node.js and the angular and mysql the version for the node.js i am using in node.js version 14 angular version is 13 and mysql version is 5.6 for id for developing both node and angular application i have used visual studio code id and for port i am running angular application on port 4200 node application on port uh, 3000 and mysql application in, uh, on port 3306 3306 right these are the port details right so this is the web-based application so for front-end development i have used some of the html css also along with the angular so these all technology stacks i have used for developing this project online gift store right so this is a mini project right and which has only and only customer operation there is no uh, admin operations available in it but if you need the admin application we will develop uh, according to our requirements we will integrate the admin application also in this application right so once you run this project on port 4200 that you will get this home page you can see these are the some uh, products are coming on the home page these products are coming from the database through api right this is about project and this is a static page there is nothing dynamic on it right if you want to change it then you can change from the about component this is a categories and this all categories are coming from the database if you want to change the category you can log in on mysql and after that you can change the category details and even you can add the category details directly in the database as i told you earlier there is no admin panel available inside this project if you click on the category you will be able to see the products which belongs to that category right currently you can see there are two products belongs to that category and if you click on the details you will be able to see the product details means category details right if you click on add to cart then you can add to cart but there is a restrictions you can't add item into the cart without login so login is mandatory for buying any of the product so this is the customer login from here customer can log in this registration if you don't have user id and password then you can log in from here and you can generate your user id and password and after that you can log in with that <coughs> this is a contact us page this is a static contact us page and i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database even i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page this is a feedback form and this is also a static feedback form and i am not saving the value of this feedback form anywhere into the database so now i am going to log in as an admin so user id is amit at the gmail.com and password is test if you want to create your user id and password then you can create also once you click on submit then you will get this home page right so you can see this is the dashboard for the user right users can see my orders here from here user can see the my order site right? if you click on any of the order details you will be able to see all of the products he purchased in that order right so this you can see order id is six con customer contact each and every information is here right okay so this is the my order section and this is also a das <coughs> dashboard now i am going to order some of the gift right because this is an online gift uh, ordering system so these are twice details add to cart right you can see i have added one item into the cart because customer has login now continue adding <clears throat> and i want to buy books details add to cart so two items added into the cart again continue adding and that gifts so this one details and add to cart so we have added three items into the cart once you click on the checkout right suppose if you want to delete any item just click on the delete button that item will be deleted from the cart once you click on the checkout right you will get the dummy payment gateway page from here you can enter your dummy card right no need of entering credit card details you can enter dummy card and the things expire date and month and all right you can put whatever you want right because this is not a real time payment gateway once you make the payment you will get the order id the order id is 11 and this is the total order history if you want to see your order history go on the my order section and you can see this is the order number 11 and if you click on this uh, check bar then you will be able to see the order details right the last functionality is logout so this is the logout once you click on the logout all of the session will be destroyed the above customer administration menu will not be displayed because it renders according to the session so it's a session driven menu. let me show you you can see the menu has changed but if you log in the menus are different because it's a session driven menu 
so this all functionalities i have developed inside this project which title is online gift store and as i told you earlier this is a node.js angular and mysql application right and it's a mini project which has only and only customer operations so if you need any enhancement any extra feature in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest causes thanks for watching the video thank you very much